Good morning, Deify here, and welcome back to Kitty Powers Matchmaker, a request for 25 children. Still only at 12, but maybe in that mailbox we've got some more little bundles of joy. I mean, I suppose there's only one way to find out. Oh, well, we have only good news. Uh, Shawnee Wagfield says, Ah, uh, Guillaume and me are still seeing each other and we've shacked up. Uh, we both live and love gardening, and I love him so much I don't care about his unhealthy interest in romance novels. I did tell one or two porky pies, but it was definitely worth it. We're flipping and well in love, isn't it? Uh, well, they sent me a present. That's really all that matters. <laughs> I love presents. Oh, um, a Swiss military pocket knife. Thank you. You shouldn't have. Serena Corkling... Ah, <sighs> again. Okay, Fionula and I are still a couple, and we moved in together. We do both so enjoy expensive perfume, and I love her so much I can easily tolerate her predilection for role-playing games. That is six move-ins in a row, with nothing else better than that. This is getting a little tiring, you guys. Okay, what did I get? Aw, a single orchid. Now, now, give me babies. And we're gonna start off with Miss Wonderful Purple Bulka here. Ethel, an indie game developer... Like, like, ethyl alcohol? Because, uh, that's, that's, that's dangerous, isn't it? Uh, she's a Capricorn, looking for a man. She's interested in mushroom pate or pate. Cute anime characters and global markets. Man, that sounds like nerdy and chic or geeky. Sorry, I'm always gonna keep doing that. Love hazel eyes and blonde hair. Your active, carefree, next for experimental and romantic. Your bad habit is planking. I hate it when I just feel the urge to plank. Uh, it's the abs, I guess. And her guilty pleasure is going fishing. Yeah, let's uh, see. Oh, a hipster type. A hipster type. Okay, well, let's see if we can find someone for your hipster type. And so I think we're first going to try her out with Henley Clapthorpe. I've seen this guy once before. He has that uh, miraculous beard. But uh, they line up horoscopically. Uh, there's no attraction and no real interest lining up. But three of the five so far is pretty good, and, and, okay, hear me out. I don't know how being greedy will go over, but sh her bad habit is planking, and his guilty pleasure is long-distance running. So maybe that'll help. And thanks to a wonderful comment from a YouTuber by the name of B08P, uh, I now know that uh, picante means spicy. Uh. And, you know, it's super obvious. I should have known that, but I didn't. But yeah, so it's the spicy bowl, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, follicle coloration. So thank you, B-O-A-P. <laughs> uh, uh, hot no-meat dish. Okay, and you're a vegetarian. Hey, there's one of the three we needed. So we just need two more at this Spanish restaurant. Two portions of arroz vegeta vegetariano, please. Uh, yeah, you know it. It is literally the best choice there is on this menu. What's better than just rice? Am I right? Am I right? Okay, so let's find out something new. So, uh, when at work, do you keep yourself to yourself or get to know everybody? Uh, you, hey, you get to know everybody. Yeah, we definitely get to know everybody. That's, that's four for four so far. This is going quite well. If they get that, uh, wonderful five for five, I'm probably not even gonna wait to try and, uh, find out about, uh, the bad habits. I think they'll line up, perhaps? We'll have to see. When making new friends, do you take time to get to know someone or dive in head first? Here we go. Oh! Take time to get to know someone? No! You you just dive in head first. Uh, oh no, he's got something lodged in his eye. This is terrible. Uh, give him a wink. Yeah, oh, hey, okay, tie is fine. Give him tie is fine. Uh, kiss him a little. Oh, perfect. A win. So we can't do badly, we can only do neutral. Kiss him again. Hey! That is two out of three, two and a half out of three, maybe. Yeah, no point in beating around the bush. Uh, t flirting and texting, you call it flexing. Yeah, let's get rid of that strike. Just on the uh, offside chance, I want to hook these two up today. But, uh, hmm. A second date does not sound terrible. Someone you fancy wants to come in for coffee. Do you clean the cafeteria, the kitchen, or do you clean the bedlin? Uh, hey, you clean the kitchen? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, your telecommunication device is malfunctioned. I mean, sure. You really should charge that t thing. Not ting. 235-2850. 235-2850. Perfect. Perfect. Mm. 
I don't I don't even need to know that it's correct. I knew it all along. Yeah, we did enjoy our meal. It was it was quite delicious. Yeah. Let's get out of here. We don't want to overstay our welcome at the spicy bowl. Uh can I can I see you again? A oh, hyper optimal. Oh, I love it when you use big words like that. And I suppose it is only fair to say that thanks to the wonderful Peggy, Purple Pegasus here on YouTube, I now know what a vintner is, and it's someone who makes wine, apparently? I mean, that's weird. Why would you call that a vintner? Like, vintage? Oh, jeez, I didn't even give my last waiter a name. or Waitress, waitress. So we have blondie blue eyes here, light brownie blue eyes, there we go. Uh, what would you like? A cold no-meat dish? Is is that the... Oh, no, one more, but kartoffel salat sounds good. Two potato salads. <laughs> John Cena at the WWE Super Slam! Oh man, okay. Uh, it's, it's a potato salad joke, I'm so sorry. So we talked about those two. We could try bad habits, but I don't know how she'll take to being greedy. Only one way to find out. He's so excited. Uh, I have an irrational compulsion for being greedy. Oh well, it doesn't bother me really. Hey, please, you don't mind. Uh, we're well into planking. Ah, oh, no issue with that at all. See, I was kind of right. He actually doesn't mind. Then again, he dresses like he might be part sporty type. Because, look at that jacket. You don't just wear that jacket because you want to. No. You need to lose a bet. Okay, there's guilty pleasures. Let's try that too. Do you have any guilty pleasures? Uh, long distance running. Ah, oh, I like that. That sounds interesting. Our guilty pleasure? Going fishing. Ah, uh, what? What? And what's wrong with that? Okay, you went to a comic convention. Yeah, fine. You should not be too difficult to find with that hair and that beard. But uh, I've been proved wrong before, and I do not like that. There's someone else with that beard. There you are, right there. Success! Thank you. Yeah, there you are. It's really cool. The comic convention with the uh, Jumbotron. How many of those do you go to? Am I right? San Diego Comic Con might have one, but... Uh, pfft. Whatever. Uh, when buying books, would you rather look around a secondhand bookshop or download ebooks onto a tablet? Oh, definitely download ebooks. Uh, yeah, definitely download. You can't stop progress. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's call our waiter. Where's a uh, light brownie blue eyes here? Without the dreadlocks, Miley Cyrus. What are you doing working at the German restaurant now? I could see you're getting dreadlocks. It, it would happen. Yeah, it's logical for us to leave. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna set these two up. They seem delightful together. Uh, will you go out with me? Uh, affirmative. You have won his cardiovascular organ. That's so sweet. I never noticed how heavy her makeup was. It seemed normal with the purple hair. Now it's just like, mm, girl, I should have changed that. And now Jesse's girl. Oh no, sorry. This is Jesse himself. Jesse Fleshzos. That's, that's, that is a hard last name to say. Uh, he is an Aries, a village dignitary looking for a woman. He's into scuba diving, luxurious mansion, and haute cuisine, and he loves gray eyes and ginger hair. He's active, methodical, introvert, experimental, and romantic. His bad habit is not paying attention. His guilty pleasure is body glitter. Uh, okay, so he's chic. Yes, yes, that makes sense. I thought he was glam. And so here's Christina Butterwright. Uh, we've seen her before sometime a while in the past. But uh, they line up horoscopically, so that's always good. And she seems like uh, she's an arty type, but spending money maybe a little chic. She looks like she might dress chic. But there is some definite attraction going on there. And uh, they've already got two uh, the, of those so far. We can find out her bad habit. Probably should not talk about... Uh, guilty pleasure because body glitter and collecting thimbles that's got to be like vintage over here and glam over there and that would not line up with either of them and with this lovely dark brown hair there are oodles of attraction between these two that's right oodles uh would you happen to be christina yeah you must be jesse hey do you want to be jesse's girl mm -hmm. this restaurant does set a new culinary standard of french that's a standard. Trust me, color of your eyeballs are appealing. Uh, you have a rather ginger hue about you, and your dark brown hair. Mm, it's so good. Okay, so, oh, okay, so we have electric blue, the electric blue galoo here. Uh, what would you like to eat? A hot red meat dish? Come on, one more recipe. Nope. Okay, well, it's not going to be that. Uh, peds? That's lamb's feet, so maybe. Um, beef and vegetable stew. There we go. Hot red meat, right? That's what you said? Um, yeah, okay, good. Deliciously edible. I was worried that I had 
forgotten what she had said, and I would have been like, oh no, everything is ruined. Okay, well, we know tradition lines up. Let's try a new one. Would you rather go on a date to an afternoon tea room or a drag cabaret show? Oh, a drag cabaret show? That is just wrong. Of course, we don't need to increase our sauciness levels. We just, we are the mild taco sauce from Taco Bell, and you are the spicy. We are two very similar people. You're just slightly spicier. Uh, when surfing the internet, do you make specific searches only or browse casually for hours? Oh, you browse casually for hours. That's just wrong, girl. Yeah, it would not be expedient to worry less. Oh, you know what? Just, just, just fart. It doesn't even matter. Higher? Oh, okay, we actually got it. Uh, lower. Yep, okay, we're doing well. Five seems pretty easy. Let's go higher. Okay, and nine, again, kind of in the middle. Let's go lower. Oh, it had to be. You had to mess me up just like that. And his eyes just whoop right across the screen. Oh, and that's the one thing we don't know about her. Uh, it was me. I'm sorry. Oh, she's okay. She's an introvert. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, this date is suboptimal. Get out of here, girl. Get out of here, aw. Uh, yeah, that couldn't have gone worse. I mean, it, it, it might, um, no, it really couldn't have. Oh, I heard some thumping out in the living room, and it turns out to be my cats were fighting again, so I had to go break them up when it was all nonsense out there. Here's a new girl in the black book. She's not super good, but her name is Cora Bunlord, and there's a little bit of attraction, and, oh huh, yeah, that's really all they got going for them. Cats, if you if if you guys don't stop, fi I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna come out there. Not in there. Oh yeah, wish you luck. You are going in. Okay. Hmm. Would you happen to be Cora, like from the legend of? Would you like to be Jess's girl? Ah <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, place is all right. Oh, your brown eyes are nice, and your light brown hair too. Oh, man, the compliments never end. Too bad there are only two things they can compliment you on, so they ended pretty quickly. We have light brown bowl cut here. Uh, what would you like to eat? Something hot with no meat. Oh, how about you know, pumpkin porridge? Sounds good. Uh, Easy doo doo would be fabuloso. Uh huh. Oh, very good. Oh, my nose always itchy. Let's see what we got here. A building site worker wolf whistles you. Do you walk more quickly or turn around to see if they're fit? Oh, you turn around to see if they're fit. That's just wrong. You walk quickly. Girl, how do you not know this? This is like common knowledge. Kitty, kitty, help us with this strike, okay? Yeah, kitty's here. Kitty's just like, nah, nah, girl, I got you. I got you. Uh-huh, let's try social. When voting in elections, do you keep your choice to yourself or tell everyone who you vote for? Oh, you tell everyone who you vote for? Girl, keep that a secret. Politics is scary business. You don't want people knowing if you're a conservative or liberal or anything in between. Well, this is the UK, so I'm not really sure if they have just... They probably have more than conservative or liberal, but whatever. Hey, victory is mine. Too bad we're wasting it on a bad date, am I right? Here I am. I should, I should check to make sure I'm still on screen. Good, I am. Uh, here I am. I do apologize about that. Blimey, that's the most amazing perfume I've ever smelled, isn't it? Oh, thank you. How kind of you to mention. Again, Axe Body Spray for men. Uh, the commercials say that girls dig it. So, yeah, girl, dig it. When it comes to washing up, would you rather do it in the sink or stick it in the dishwasher? Hey, they line up on something. Yeah, we are all technoed up. And the award-winning chef? Oh, you shouldn't have blondie mustache eyebrow, man. Uh-huh, okay, what did we think? That's a very good question. It had a pleasantly subtle overtone of wistful wondrousness. It had an incredibly intoxicating texture. It was beautifully and thoughtfully presented. It had a dreamy, inspired aftertaste. It was totally and completely satisfying, and it had a hint of heavenly delightfulness. Hey, you're simply thrilled to hear? You better be. We just read through the entire dictionary right before this date to get ready. I don't even know what half of those words mean. Oh, really? I mean, maybe we can get a second date out of her? Let me think. Please, one's not getting any younger. Okay, that is the meanest way to... You're almost past baby-making age. <laughs> Don't ever say that to to a girl. That is not a good way to get a second date. Trust me. 
I don't have experience with this. That would be terrible. And so here's Tabitha Merrywine. She looks to be a hippie type of sorts who also plays electric guitar. Um, there's quite a bit of attraction going on there if we dye his hair black, and I just thought about it. Maybe Body Glitter is hippie, and she'll really like that. But she's new to the books. We don't know anything about her, so, well, oh, they also line up horoscopically. This could be very good. And Greek Lightning, I believe the last medium restaurant that we have in this episode that we still need recipes from. So I would assume that the repeats are going to start now. Yeah, we are very punctual. It is, it is a pleasant restaurant. I know you're probably used to better ones, but trust me, this place is pretty good. We have a uh, full beard black hair here. It's, that's his pirate name. <laughs> uh, uh, what would you like to eat? A cold dish with no meat? Oh, we couldn't get a new uh, recipe uh two platters of pensado salata if you'd be so kind yeah that better be the chef's specialty it sounds delightful okay so let's we should just get off the bat what do you think of horoscopes oh they're rather fun oh guy okay you're you're gonna like it if you can pull off this lie you're going to be very happy with the results because you'll find out that you two are a match made in heaven. You're not going to make this easy on me, though, are you? And this is not a really easy lie setup to win. Maybe it'll stay on the screen. Oh, no, you're not going to pull it off. Oh, you might, you might, you might, you might, you might, you might, you might. Oh, so close. It's like the second time in a row. Wonderful. How nice that we agree. I'm a Leo. Well, I'm an Aries. Up oh, by Jove, our star signs are aligned. Good heavens. Could it be destiny? I want to give him props on that lie. That one, that one took a lot of like moxie to pull out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, spin, spin, spin. Maybe we should actually start learning about interests now, or uh, not interests, personality. On Valentine's Day, do you buy your loved one a bunch of roses or some massage oil? Some bunch of roses. I was not about to say some massage oil. Trust me. Oh, you must adjust your tire. Okay, so she's got the gold hoop earring. Uh, no makeup on, I think. Blonde, curly, wavy hair. And a small, crop, sleeveless biker jacket on a white shirt. What you got? Okay, you're just gonna go for brown hair. That's actually, that's a good look for you. That's a good look for you. So let's go hair color. I like how it's the red, green, and blue. It's the RGB value, although it's really, it's just, I think it would be funny if it was just, your hair can either be red, or green, or blue. Why is there no green hair in this? There's no, there isn't any green hair, I don't think. Oh, kitty. Uh, let's make her, we should have made him love her a bit more because he's behind. I forgot about that. I wonder if that plays anything in like the final one, if it's like how equal their love is. When you go on holiday, would you prefer a secluded hideaway or a busy city with friends? Secluded hideaway, yeah. We do like obscurity. This is very good. How much gratuity should we give them? 5%? Okay, 241. It looks like it's going to be 121. I believe that's correct. Ah, oh, we are extremely clever. Thank you. You're so kind. I think these two might be the next baby givers. Oh, give me that cat. Oh, you think they're breathtakingly stunning? You know what? With the body glitter guilty pleasure, I think I'm just going to go for it. Will you be my one and only? Yes, my darling. My heart is yours. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. I hope these two work out. And so now we're going to start with Millie in our three-star adventures. She's a horror author, a Taurus, looking for a man. She's interested in playing the theremin, music festivals, and action movies. Man, that sounds like some geeky and a lot of edgy. You love gray eyes and light brown hair. You relax, methodical, extrovert, experimental, and spicy. Your bad habit is staying up all night. Trust me, you and me both, girl. And uh, your guilty pleasure is ballroom dancing. And we hope you find your soulmate. Yeah, an edgy type called it. Hey, horror movie director, do you line up with Colin? No, you don't. So a few things. One, I lied. There is, in fact, green hair. I forgot. So that does mean there is, in fact, red, green, and blue hair. What a very nice touch. I didn't even realize that. But the RGB values all find their place. And secondly, this Jake Middlehome guy actually seems like a good match. They're horoscopically good. Uh, they both like music festivals. Uh, she has some attraction towards him, and we can get some attraction back her way. And uh, other than that, we don't know anything about him, but I'm hopeful. And now she looks like a spooky ghost with the white hair. 
It's not a terrible look, but it's not that good. Hey, are you Jake? Yeah, you must be Millie. You're totally on time. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, this restaurant, it does kill people. From what I hear, the food is uh, interesting. Okay, so another light brown blue eyes, but this one's Stone Chin. I'm going to call you Stone Chin. Uh, what would you like? Something hot with no meat would be fabuloso. Unfortunately, we could not get a new recipe. We need three more there, too, so we'll get some corn on the cob, because really, you can't go that wrong with corn on the cob. I know some people who would be like, no, nah, don't get corn on the cob, but I'm like, hey, I will eat all the corn on the cob. When it comes to sports, do you prefer solo games or team games? Uh, team games! Mmm, you don't say. Very good, yes. Uh, some free money for us to save us. How did we lose? Oh, because we had to dye her hair. That's right. Totally forgetting. Because, like, I have 4,600. You can't see the money, but I have 4,587 4, coins. I don't even care at this point what I'm spending money on, but every time I notice it's different, I'm like, whoa, what did I spend money on? I heard that you're interested in music festivals. Oh, you like those, do you? I'm totally into them, too. Uh, I, oh. I think we want him to be carefree, so we're just, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it and hope for the best. Oh, it gives you so much more time to squish it. Oh, what a cutesy little spider can. Spiders are, like, way cool. So he is carefree. That's good to know. Okay, maybe maybe we can talk about that, or is she methodical? Uh, oh, she's methodical. Okay. I thought we wanted that. Let's just try, uh, what do you think of horoscopes? I think they're everything. I think they're fantastic. I'm so glad we agree. Uh, you're a Taurus. Oh, we're totes compatible. Oh, that's so good. Uh, yeah. Oh, exquisite handmade chocolates at an American diner? Okay, you don't like honeycomb and you love biscuit wraps. Let's try that one. So there's one there. Is it in those? It's not in those three. Okay, but we got... Um, let's try that guy. Nope. We got three neutral ones, though, so that's really good. Oh, gee, that was totally the perfect selection. Chocolate heaven! Well-versed in the art of chocolate. These two definitely deserve a second date. They may not be the wonderful uh, match made in heaven that I had hoped, but I think they might still work out, and that excites me so. And now to the Jerk King, because he's two stars. He can handle these one-star restaurants that we desperately need recipes from. Oh, hey, Jake. Nice to see you again. Oh, are you Jake from State Farm? You look just like him with the... Uh, the, the, um, uh, yeah, uh, it's very nice. Oh, let's get some kitty kitty lovin' in here. So, she's a three star, so let's get her to love him a little bit more. And we know that they only line up on one of two, uh, personalities so far, but, uh, something cold with no meat. Hey, there's another one, and that looks good. Two portions of garden salad, please. Surprised that one's not at, like, the American diner. So we should not talk about, uh, or uh, organization or whatever but we should probably talk about bad habits because those can make or break it do you have any bad habits oh uh, you can't help eating crisps in the cinema you heathen don't do that how can you like that that's terrible uh we stay up all night oh that's totes okay don't sweat it oh that's really nice good for you too so these two might be very good together let's find out a little bit more about his personality maybe guilty pleasure if it comes up Ooh, do we, no, they're both edgy types. We don't want to do that. Uh, when watching TV, would you rather do aerobics to a fitness video or slob on the sofa? Really? You'd rather do... Oh, I'm sorry. We'd rather slob on the sofa. Uh, yeah, we don't need your sass, Jake from State Farm. Oh, sorry. You're Nelson, manager of this restaurant. Wow. Simon? Or Simon? It's not Simeon. I doubt it. Simon, Andre, Jake, Heath, or Leyland. Uh, it's Jake. This is charming Jake. From State Farm, of course, yeah. He's like, oh, is she gonna get it? Yeah, of course we did. It was nice of them to come and say hi. Very, very good, you two. Okay, but their personalities are not doing so hot. How about the spiciness? Uh, when shopping in department stores, do you head for the home furnishings department or the underwear department? Okay, the underwear departments. There's still some hope. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, yeah, I hope we enjoyed. Uh, shall we go Dutch indeed? Well, I have no idea, so let's just drop them on each side and, you know, see what happens. Whatever the fates decide we do, that is what we will do. Oh, perfectly Dutch. Wonderful. Okay. Let's split the bill. Um, these two. How do I feel about these two? They, they get along. 
uh, she quite likes him, so I'm just gonna say, yeah, your bad habits are really good together, and you have similar interests and some attraction to each other, you're horoscopically good, that, and you didn't lie, so it seems like it would check most of the boxes. It may not be the perfect match, but that's a darn good one right there, and these two are probably gonna stay together. And this guy is dressed so fly, it's so good, and that hair, and that soul patch, I'm envious of Darren Masterhorn here. He's a Capricorn, a tattoo artist looking for a woman. He likes zombie movies, tattoos, you don't say, and doing card tricks. And you love gray eyes and purple hair. You're active, methodical, expert, experimental, and spicy. Bad habit is being deliberately provocative, and your guilty pleasure is alphabetizing bookshelves. Is there some practical in you? There might be some practical in him. And you know what? He seems to like this Cora person quite a bit. We tried pairing her with Jesse. She didn't like him so much. Maybe Darren. They've got some good attraction. Now, I do have some other people in this black book, but um, these two also line up horoscopically, which is saying something. They're not very good on the interests, but you know what? Maybe we can find out her bad habit and guilty pleasure for future reference if it doesn't work out. And back to the spicy bowl once more. Yeah, you better be feeling pretty good about this. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Are you Cora, like Coral from the uh, Australian Great Barrier Reef? Yeah, this is good for a bit of a nosh. Hair is light brown, yeah. May I take your order? So we have another light brown, red lips, brown eyes. Okay, I don't know what to call you. Something hot with no meat and you're a vegetarian. Well, it's not going to be that. Uh, but, well, of course, it's going to be two lots of arroz vegetariano again. Like always. Like why no one orders anything else at these restaurants. They're always vegetarian. Okay. So we want to talk about blue or yellow, but we got blue right there when at the zoo do you make sure you see every animal or wander around aimlessly? Oh, you wander around aimlessly. That's just wrong. You, you got to see every animal. We don't need to let our hair down. This is perfectly fine. Yeah, don't, hey, don't sass us, waitress. We, we, we can tip you really low. Or she'll be like, hey, let's give him a 25% tip. I don't like any of these. Uh, we should keep that. There we go. That's what I wanted. Your partner is keen to take a ballroom dancing. Do you get stuck in or tell them they're having a laugh? Oh, you get stuck in. Do you now? Yeah, very good. Okay, so four out of five is not terrible. She's got to make a phone call. That's not good. Okay, so she's got the hoodie and the messy long hair. Okay, so... Uh, these two aren't perfect, but they're pretty alright. We, I'd say we find out her bad habit and guilty pleasure and move on from there. Because, yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, we found you. We always, we always find you. I mean, I, I think I've literally, in my, all my time playing this game, I've only messed that up once. And that was, you know, on this video series just for that. Just for trying to get the schadenfreude. Uh, you think they're, you think they're alright? Oh, dude, you love horoscopes. Come on, man. Why does everyone who Cora goes out with hate horoscopes? Was it Cora who, who was the one that Jesse? I think Jesse hated horoscopes. Come on, man. You gotta be a better liar than that. You gotta be a better liar than that. You can't mess this up with her. She could be the one. You don't want to miss out on the one over something silly like horoscopes, right? You want to do it over something big like bad habits or guilty pleasures. Uh, yeah, it's great that we agree. You're Taurus. What about you? I'm Capricorn. Ah, oh, they're flipping. Perfect. Star signs, of course. What did, I, what did our waiter look like? It was Jennifer. Not Vanessa or Danielle. Okay, yeah. Oh, very good. Oh, you, you, how can you forget what they look like? Come on, you gotta give them names. How else? Oh, I, I hope we don't start actually giving, like, waiters and waitresses at restaurants names. That'd be really weird. Just be like, oh, hey, a uh, uh, brown hair ponytail. <laughs> Greek lightning, go Greek lightning. I, I, I don't know that song. I haven't seen Greece in a, like a really long time. Uh huh. Okay, this restaurant is well good. Yeah, very good. Oh man, this is the fastest start to a date ever. I just didn't even have anything to say at the start. So we have black hair, you know, normal bra black hair, brown eye. Oh, she wants something with no meat. I, I didn't see if it was hot. Okay, so two of them are hot. If, if there's not a cold, oh, there's a cold. Why do I do this to myself? I'm gonna go cold, because they always seem to want the Ponsato Salata. Ah, uh, she wanted hot. Okay, it's okay, girl. Look, we just made up for it with that sweet, sweet kitty kitty lovin'. 
Whew, I was worried that things were actually going to go wrong there and it would have all been my fault. I mean, it all it already is. Do you have any bad habits? You can't help playing loud music. I just can't see anything wrong with that dude. He's an edgy type. He lives on bad habits. He lives on loud music, not bad habits. I mean, he might, but you can't help being deliberately proactive. Oh, that don't bother her one bit. Dude, you're in the clear. She wants you so much. Okay, let's uh, spin this. Uh, we might want to talk about guilty pleasures also. We can only go down, am I right? <laughs> uh, if you could choose a pet, would you rather have a fluffy bunny or a robocat? Oh, a robocat? You don't say. I mean, I consider myself quite modern. You know, computer scientist doesn't really... I kind of have to be. I would still like a fluffy bunny. Uh, when I was a nipper, I had a hamster. Oh, God, he was run over by a car. He was at the swimming club at school, but the pool was haunted. I see. Yeah, when I was just a nipper, we'd go to holiday camps down the coast, and hey, there it is. Uh, we loved it, even the cheesy entertainment. Do those stories even line up? Like, for real? I mean, maybe you're talking... I don't... You know, I don't even want to understand. So we do have guilty pleasures. Or we could take the safe route and call them good. You know what? I'm thinking the safe route. When it comes to friends, do you prefer hanging out with one at a time or large social gatherings? Large social, ga social gatherings? Oh, very good. Yeah, it's great having loads of mates, right? I have, like, literally maybe loads of them because I might know over 15 people and their aggregate weight may be over 2,000 pounds. I don't know how many kilos that is for anyone not on the... Uh, American weight system. 8536032. 8536032. That sounds good. Let's get that cab right over here to Greek Lightning. Go Greek Lightning. Um, I wonder if you just call them up and start singing that. They'll be like, okay, we'll be right there. I think these two work out. I think these two could work out quite well. You want to get more serious? Uh, not our. If you want me over with your charm, ain't you? Uh -huh -huh. You two are so nice together. Oh, look, they're smiling and, and kissing like like they all do. And that seems like a pretty good note to end on. Those are two couples that I'm actually quite happy with. And you know what? Honestly, honestly, me to you, like private one-on-one, -on -one, it's been a little while since I felt that good about couples. But we've got mail. Let's see how these other couples did. We have two. Okay, Ethel Huntberry. Hey, Henley and I are still together and we're engaged. We both really enjoy cute animu, animu, char char animu characters. <laughs> we're so compatible that I can easily live with his obsession with paintings of Black Panthers. Yeah, that one was kind of a weird uh, couple, but they worked out and the best thing is we're completely honest with him. We're over the moon with everything that's happened. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, and you sent me something, right? You sent me... Oh, yeah, you did. Would you send me a jump rope? Oh, you shouldn't have. And Jesse, how is he doing with Jesse's girl? Oh, they moved in together. Tabitha and I are still a couple and we moved in. We do both so enjoy not paying attention. Hopefully not to each other, am I right? And I love Tabitha so much that I can easily tolerate her predilection for... Oh, playing the electric guitar. What? 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 You play the electric guitar too? I swear it's a guitar, it's backwards, but see? It's, uh, that that rubbed up against my microphone. That was oops, my bad. Okay, I'll just I'll just finish. Oh, it's just getting in the way of everything. It was a bad idea bringing this here, but that's okay. That's fine. You, you did tell one or two white lies, but in the end, the end justifies the means. We're in love and things couldn't be rosier unless maybe you had a rose, am I right? Okay. Uh-huh. I still have my guitar. Yep. Still sounds like the strings are attached. <laughs> oh, well, that's about going to do it for this episode of Kitty Powers Matchmaker. We set up some good couples. We set up a couple bad couples, but those are out of the way already. I'm supposed to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, on our quest for 20... Ugh, five children, of which we only have 12. <laughs> Why did I take my guitar up? That was just stupid. Goodbye.